Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about 10 different fragrances that are so good, I'll actually use a full bottle of them, probably. Obviously, I've got an issue running through entire bottles of fragrances because um, I've got a few of them. And more over there, and over there, and over there, and over there, and over uh, everywhere. Still yet though, there are some fragrances that I'll probably use the entire bottle of because I think they're just so freaking good. And that's what these are. So let's jump into it. Let's check out these fragrances. Today's video is a tag video. I was tagged by CJ City TV. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel. Make sure to check him out. And thanks for the tag. And who will I tag? I, I, I don't know. Everybody? Everybody's tagged. I'm not sure who's done this and who's not. Uh, so everybody. I'll also leave a link in the description below for each one of these fragrances at Discounters. If you've watched this channel for a while, all of these fragrances are fragrances that I mentioned. So it kind of makes sense. You know, if I like them, I'm going to talk about them, right? So first one, Green Irish Tweed from Creed. I've actually got a few bottles of this one. This one's my favorite though. I like that old school fire hose atomizer that they got rid of. And I like the cap that doesn't click into place whatsoever. It's got lemon verbena, violet leaf, iris, and ambergris, along with mint as some of the notes in the fragrance. Smells like a walk through the Irish countryside. This is one of the quintessential springtime fragrances for me and for lots of other people out there. It's green, it's sophisticated, it's gentlemanly, it's decades old and yet doesn't smell dated at all to me. It still works as a compliment puller, as an attention grabber, and it works in pretty much any situation you can think of. Green Irish Tweed is an absolute love for me. One of my favorite fragrances of all time. Possibly my very favorite, I'm not sure. It's up there. So Creed Green Irish Tweed, will I use a bottle? Yeah, for sure, I actually already have. And I guess I should say that I'm not including any of my discontinued fragrances in this list. There are a lot of discontinued fragrances that I love and I would use a full bottle of, but because they're discontinued and they're hard to find, I use them sparingly. Next up, good old Dior Ohm. Not Dior Ohm 2020, just Dior Ohm. This bottle right here, looking rough, right toward the bottom there, but no worry, I have more. This one has iris, cacao, leather, vetiver, and lavender as some of the notes in the fragrance. Dior Homme O, which has been discontinued and is a lot harder to find nowadays, probably was more versatile than this one, but this is still an amazing scent with great versatility, much more than you might think. A lot of times Dior Homme and more specifically Dior Homme Intense get tagged as fall and wintertime fragrances and sometimes just evening fragrances only, but Dior Homme o you can wear in just about any situation as long as you dial your sprays up or down depending on what you're doing, where you're going, who you're gonna be around, what the temperature is, all that stuff. Now, of course, they have Dior Homme 2020 nowadays, which is definitely more versatile than the original Dior Homme and frankly, a bigger compliment puller as well. I know a lot of people don't wanna hear that, but it's true. But in terms of what I like to smell, Dior Homme crushes crushes Dior Homme 2020. That's not to say Dior Homme 2020 is not a solid fragrance because it is, but this stuff right here, ooh, this pulls at my heartstrings. Next up, Versace Oud Noir. Some people will say that this is Versace's take on Tom Ford Oud Wood, and it kind of sort of is, actually. There's Oud, Saffron, Pepper, and Cardamom in this fragrance. It's not the exact same as Oud Wood. They do go there their separate ways as they dry down, they change, you know? But when you first spray this on, you definitely do get that Oud Wood vibe. So while I would not say that Oud Noir is uh, a fragrance that's going to replace Tom Ford Oud Wood and do pretty much the exact same thing, smell the exact same, I wouldn't say that, but will it get you a similar vibe? A fragrance done in the, in the same style for a lot less? Yeah, yeah, it'll do that. That fragrance I bought brand new, full retail, when it was still fairly hard to find in the US. I actually bought some carded samples. And I ran through those, like 10 milliliters worth of samples, and then I bought the bottle. Don't regret it at all. And that's one I've worn to the office a lot, actually. Absolutely love that. Oud Noir, good stuff. Back to another springtime favorite, Bleecker Street from Bond Number no. 9. Bond Number no. 9 is a house 
that maybe doesn't get the most respect as far as niche houses go. And there are a lot of reasons for that that maybe we won't get into right here. A lot of their fragrances do have uh, synthetic kind of smell to them for the price especially, but they do have some absolute bangers, some stone cold stunners. And this is one of them, Bleecker Street. This one opens up very green, grassy smelling actually with some blueberry sweetness. As it dries down, you get oak moss, you get suede, you get some cedar. So you get these denser notes as the fragrance dries. This was one of the very first Bond Number no. 9s that I bought. And it is still to this day, one of my absolute favorite Bond Number no. 9s. Actually, I'd say it probably is my favorite. Springtime in the day, this stuff is a killer and my wife loves it too, so that's a positive. Next up, let's go with this one. Lo Medial Eau de Parfum from Guerlain. And that bottle, yeah, it's running low. Almond, cherry, leather, tonka, and vanilla are some of the notes in the fragrance. So that almond is gonna tie this in with all the other fragrances in the line. Gives it this nice creaminess. The cherry, the vanilla, the tonka, all these other notes, they give it a really, really enticing, warm sweetness. The leather in this is almost enveloped, swallowed up by all those other sweet notes. Smells fantastic in cool weather. So wintertime, fall time, that is great. There are a bunch of other fragrances in that line worth checking out also. The original Eau de Toilette is great for fall and winter, though the Eau de Parfum is a little bit better. Uh, L'Entente, which doesn't get talked about very much, also a great fragrance. That one's a little bit smokier, so if you want more of an edge, you could go with that fragrance. If you want more of that cherry sweetness, go with the Eau de Parfum. Okay, next up, Farvados Vintage. This is probably the best fragrance overall for me that John Barbados makes. This has tobacco, suede, rhubarb, and woods as some of the notes in the fragrance. It has this traditional masculine feel to it, but also enough sweetness to contrast that, offset it, and make it more appealing to more people. So what that means is that if you're a younger guy, you can pull it off because it does have that, that little touch of sweetness and tartness in here from the rhubarb and the quince and some of the other notes. But if you're an older gentleman, it's not too sweet. It's not overwhelmingly sweet. It doesn't have that bubble gummy type feel. And it does have, like I mentioned, that traditional masculine feel to it, like the base of the fragrance comes across in a more traditional way. So basically it's just really appealing and pretty much anybody can wear it. That's what I mean. The performance on it is so-so eh, and not as good as you would hope for a fall or winter time fragrance or an evening out fragrance, but typically from discounters, at least as of this video, Varvedos fragrances are affordable. So what that means is you can get a nice big bottle of this, spray it on as much as you want and not have to think too much about how much you're spending every time you spray the bottle. Now I've got a huge bottle of this next fragrance and yeah, it's it's running low, but it's okay, I've got a backup. It's Terre d'Hermes. Now I've got a big bottle of the Pure Parfum and also the Eau de Toilette. So I have both the 200 ml size bottles of Terre d'Hermes in those concentrations. It's got orange, grapefruit, vetiver, flint, and black pepper as some of the notes in the fragrance. This stuff, is amazing absolutely love it it is a little divisive some people don't like it they think that the earthy feeling that some people would say dirty orange feeling in the opening is not very good smelling frankly but i'm a big fan i'm a big fan i think it's fantastic one of the better office fragrances ever made one of the better formal fragrances ever made but not so stuffy that you can only wear it in, in certain formal situations. It still has enough of a casual edge that you can pull it off pretty much anywhere. And that's what a lot of these fragrances have in common, is versatility, maybe in different ways, shapes or forms, but still a lot of versatility. Terre d'Hermes is one of the kings of versatility, especially for guys middle-aged and older. A lot of younger guys probably would go with Autre Fraiche, Terre d'Hermes, Autre Fraiche, which is a fresher version, obviously, of Terre d'Hermes, and it doesn't have that earthiness in the opening. It cleans everything off. A lot of younger guys will go for that, and that's absolutely fine, because then you're going to get that, that same vibe as the original Terre d'Hermes. You're going to get that sophisticated feel, that growing up feel a little bit, but with a more wearable, more approachable, cleaner edge. Next up, we've got an homage 
Memoir, man. Yeah, memoir. Huh, kind of out of left field. When you hear a moi, you might think jubilation or reflection, maybe even beach hut or sunshine or bracken or, or overture or interlude. Uh, there's a lot of ones you could pick, but for me, memoir. Now, most all those Amouage fragrances I just listed off are top-notch, top-notch fragrances. Love them. But this one, for some reason, just kind of calls out to me. Does that sound weird? Yeah, probably does. It's got mint, wormwood, incense, tobacco, additional woods, actually a, a good amount of notes here. There's a lot of masculine notes in Memoir Man. This one is green, smoky, woody, mysterious, dark, but not too dark. It's really, really well done. This is one that didn't immediately grab me. The first time I smelled it, I knew it was good. I knew the quality was there, but I just remember thinking to myself, when am I gonna wear this? That's, that's the thing. When am I gonna be able to pull this off? You know, memoir man, great quality, wearability, uh, question mark. Then as time went on and I got more comfortable with the fragrance, I realized memoir man is a stunning fall, wintertime, daytime, evening fragrance. Basically that whole six months of the year, I wear it. And that is a fragrance that I'll wear to the office. Yeah, some people would think, Ooh, no, no too challenging, uh, too much of a risk of people getting grossed out by your fragrance or something. I just wear it a little bit lighter, you know, less sprays, and then it, it wafts off me because the performance here is really good. So it'll waft off me throughout the day. People will catch just little, little hints of it and it works so well. So Memoir Man, believe it or not, one of the fragrances I'll actually go through the whole bottle. It's great. These last two fragrances are ones that I'll work through for a similar reason. They smell very nice. They smell much more expensive than they actually are. They are uh, wonderful in high heat situations, spring, summer, daytime, early fall, killer. And they're inexpensive, very inexpensive. So basically what that means is I can just spray away, doesn't matter, because I can buy a new bottle and replace it for next to nothing. First one, Banana Republic 78 Vintage Green. This has bergamot, green tea, additional green notes, and fig. That's pretty much the fragrance in a nutshell. Vintage green, yeah. It's green, it's fresh, it's clean, it's uplifting. It's got an enticing opening with a great amount of citrus. That bergamot really pops as the fragrance uh, sits on your skin initially. As it dries down, you get a little bit of fig, not too much, frankly. You get more of that, that green essence, if you wanna call it that, than fig, but you get a little bit. And that's a fragrance you can wear pretty much anywhere. Everybody's gonna love it. It's office safe. And uh, the usability there combined with the price that one, I'll go through a bottle like that. And same thing with this one, Ferrari Bright Neroli. Frankly, just as easily, I could have put Radiant Bergamot or one of the other fragrances in this line in this video, because all of them, at least when they're at discounters and not sold out, you can get for like 20 bucks and they all smell much better than a $20 fragrance has any right to smell. It's got Neroli, Bitter Orange, Vetiver, and Citrin. Spray this one on and you're gonna get hit with a bit of a citrus blast and white florals. So yet another fragrance like Vintage Green that's gonna be very clean, brisk, and uplifting. Sure, when it dries down just like Vintage Green, it loses some of its oomph that becomes a little bit more basic, I guess you could call it, with just a, a pleasant, woodsy smelling dry down. But that doesn't take anything away from the opening and the mid. And like I said, with Vintage Green, the versatility with the price. It's an amazing bang for your buck. There is a reason that so many people out there have Ferrari fragrances in their lineups, in their collections, because they punch out of their weight class. You can buy like four of these Ferraris for one Christian Dior. So that's why people have so many of them. And I guess the Ferrari and the Banana Republic also are the type of fragrances that you would just throw into an order. You know, you're buying three, four, five things and you go, hey, whatever, the Ferrari is $19, just throw that in there too. Then you get it in and you're pleasantly surprised. That's what happened with me. So that one, Ferrari Bright and Rolly, gonna wrap up this list of 10 different fragrances that are so good, I'll use the entire bottle. That's gonna do it for me. Again, thanks to CJ City TV for the tag. He is linked below and I have tagged literally everybody, every single person in the world. 
All right, guys, this is going to do it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there. See you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.